uh, first major was Collision 2022, um, of which he uh, fell victim to what many players fall victim to uh, early, our first major nerves and kind of didn't uh, underperform to his standards. So hopefully he gets to more and more chances to kind of power through those and get uh, get these intense sets against good players and turn up at the next major that he attends or regional or what have you. Yeah. But Jackal's I mean, we'll... not looking to lose that win count quite yet. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely going to be trying to put on, uh, put on a show here. I like that. Okay, just kind of messes around with some blocks out there. Oh, and then the forward smash after the roll out of the stage too, just to create some havoc. But Jackal's still going to find their way back on. You can see it, man. He is taking his time. The backer's not going to be enough to do it that time. But one more. We should absolutely close it up. Okay, can you get there in time? Oh! I was, I was almost good. That was almost really sick. Yeah, you know, he got there in time, but he got there in time for the two-frame, and Stefan was just like a couple squares away, a couple pixels off, as gold forward smash swings right through the blocks as Jackal, I guess, was just a little bit too close for comfort, and Stefan put down the dog. Oof. Yeah, there we go. Let's get that second stock like back, that. trying to uh, find a way to um, find a way to just get this back into his favor. Drops the anvil though, gonna clip his toes. I am. Dude, this has been a lot of steam today. We, but it's it's kind of interesting, I guess, to watch how a character's meta can evolve so far. To watch how. How well Stefan can, how differently, I rather, Stefan can play into a matchup like this. I mean, we're seeing the wall setups, but Stefan seems much more willing to engage at, at the very least, set up a wall behind him to protect himself from some of Jackal's more aggressive stances. Staying in the cart for just a little bit there, and both players are kind of looking to take advantage of each other's in um, the block uh, hullabaloo. Back and forth they go, but. Jackal continuing to do a good job of burning through resources on both of, on both Steve mains. Yep. Really, the last few blocks getting put down, but that backer is going to refill so much of that of that bar. Yeah, that backer definitely did a really solid job to allow him to get a lot of those back. One thirty four to ninety two, though. Ooh, honestly, that could have been a. A uh, 50 50 situation. Uh, the the minecart coming out is definitely a little bit unfortunate, but Jackal can easily take this stock back. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Tried to find the up air as well. Not able to get it to connect, though. That's going to take it out. Last stock situation here in game one. Yeah, an important game one for any means. Like, Jackal wants to set the tone, get to uh, the reset as soon as possible, not let Stefan get, uh, get used to some of Jackal's Steve counterplay because that's when things get real dangerous. Mm -hmm. But in the same time, Steph Stefan wants to... Stefan wants to end this set right now. You don't want to go too many games against a wolf foot against Jackal, who has such a habit of getting some getting some runbacks on a lot of good players, as we see in the last with AK fires just last set. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we just, just mining. Just yeah, mining that TNT, man. <laughs> but right no. now, it comes down to a very tricky situation. Oh, he fell out of the four tilt. That's a feels bad. I see that happen with Jackal more than any other wolf player. It's so tragic. Dude. Yeah, it's oh, definitely a little, it's okay. definitely a little, uh, little unfortunate, but there it is. Yep, the up tilt, man. Gonna be able to close out that game. We got Jackal up 1-0. That was so good as well. I mean, Jackal has been doing a really good job of playing around platforms all day, but using the using Wolf's fall speed to fall straight through that platform before the getup attack came out forcing Stefan into that same spot and leaving him prone to a tipper up tilt. That's that's the type of stuff that comes with you if you're a fast faller. Being able to drop in and out through platforms is just, it's a free mix up and that's so mm -hmm. good. All right, but as we get into game two here, Jackal looking to try and keep his run alive. Stefan trying to take two in a row for fusions. We'll see if he can make it happen. That's a ladder is a good start. Oh, almost pivoting into another uh, Spiking fair, but a quick 56 with wood tools is nothing to sneeze at. And the counter pick to Battlefield yet again for Stefan. See if the, the blast zones or the uh, added ability to reset, it's gonna make the difference as Jackal tries to line it up to drag along the stage. But it, in the time it took to line it up, just made him recover just a little too low. That's, that's a tough break, but it's part of the 
Part of the win condition for Steve, uh, for Steve and for Stefan. Those early spikes are so devastating. Yep. But uh, right now, it's just a, a bit of a rough spot here. I mean, he's basically up a whole stock. Got the gold on. And uh, the gold is actually something I feel like has been discussed a bit more lately, you know, uh, because of the fact that it's got that, like, that faster frame data. But not fast enough, apparently. Jackal finds the back air to close that stock out. and just continues to just try to put pressure down. But, man, Stefan's not having any of it. Yeah, gold tools are... It's, it's interesting, the how the benefit of gold and even iron tools compared to diamond because while diamond of course does the most damage and knockback i believe iron has the same durability which is uh, pretty good for early games when you don't have uh, when you don't have access to diamonds immediately and you start with three iron and it takes four to craft and gold the faster frame data and even better safety on shield than diamonds like that's that's pretty good. It's pretty good just to pivot into, especially since Jackal's game plan has largely been to try and exhaust resources and stay in that mid-range. But Stefan's playing the matchup pretty good because you see all of that iron and all of that damage is right stacked up with it. Yeah, man. It, and, I, and it's really unfortunate in that down smash. I don't know if it was definitely misspaced or if the crafting table being there extended the hitbox on the, on the wrong side just a little bit longer that's gonna be the final stock man putting down the iron blocks too that's what you're saving all the iron for you're just waiting to put them off stage and now we're in a game three uh not even on the reset so i mean we might not even get a reset because stefan found a way to answer back with a strong two stock for themselves as well see how it plays out says we start game three in just a moment those iron blocks were necessary too. I mean, we saw the, the same setup forward throw into a block wall, but the bottom block was stone in the first attempt and Jackal was able to power through it with the firewall. Second time, all of them were iron and the uh, the bottom block didn't break. Yep. Just, Ooh, this is gonna be a rough one because I mean, this just allows Stefan to get a bunch of stone and iron. But I mean, hey, if Jackal feels comfortable here, he did take that last game against AK. Uh, on this stage as well. So, I mean, maybe he's got a little bit of the method to the madness, but I feel like all these extra resources just might not be too good. It's going to, at the very least, give Stefan better better walls at the, uh, as the stone blocks are just the flat out best raw material you can have uh, since, it, since they are so plentiful. But, you know, Wolf back here has just kept doing it for so long. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's a difference maker just being able to have that like hey i lined this up you're sitting there trying to do some fancy block placements or El tyra back to center like recovering high uh, meet my boots and let's go to the next stock and at the rate we're going we might be we're on the pace for a reset here as jackal has just found block uh, hit after hit in scramble after scramble catching stefan in many of these mid-air scenarios but finally a little bit too hump jump happy gets him in with an up smash okay there we go you have a dash attack oh in the back air immediately yeah dude uh jackals unlocked like a new level here just absolutely taking it to step i like that the falling forward into the grab dash attack that's a nice 33 percent and gonna keep up the ledge trap here my goodness 61 now just keeps climbing but uh, and only wood tools here so you only took 57. <laughs> it's quite crazy, but the point, it still stands. Like you are far from behind the eight ball after that combo. Zero to 60 is rather pedestrian for, uh, it's rather simple for Smash Ultimate. Stefan choosing to recover low and jumps from ledge again, getting caught with that, that back air that Jackal just has kept doing. Throw out a back air at jump height and wait for the roll on. But Stefan fell into the back air anyway as we go right to the reset. What a what a statement. Yeah, no, that was definitely uh, really solid too. I mean, and that's what Jackal's good at, man. He's he's good at changing up at the ledge, like, you know, when he wants to go ahead and throw out an aerial like that, or when he just wants to put the pressure on you and just set up for a ledge trap. I mean, Jackal's good at both of those scenarios. He's good at mixing up the timings for him, as we just saw. But now we're getting into the reset. And starting on small battlefield too. Uh, again, I feel like uh, Stefan's won like the last couple times I've been on this stage, but it's definitely not out of favor for Jackal to find a way and get it done. 
Yeah, he won on the stage in game one, and he uh, did the same, uh, took the W against AK Fires in game one on this stage as well. Just trying to, it seemed like, avoid Pokemon Stadium 2 for as blasphemous as that sounds. As PS2 having such a long stage feeds into what... Oh, wait, that was a sick edge cancel. Uh, <laughs> long stages feed into some what makes... Uh, Steve more frustrating to play against well uh, at very least with small battlefield the game is much more uh, interactive and That was, interactive was a against. wild scenario just the trade between the wolf smash and the uh, or the wolf flash and the up smash That was just like really awkward uh, Stefan didn't get the spike hitbox on him. So like that it, it's kind of whatever but just the trade was just so weird either way Jackal really starting to turn it up man uh, Definitely feels warmed up from AK earlier and he's just taking the Stefan this whole time now up a whole stock. Look at that. See, he, he recognizes he doesn't really have to do anything here. He's got the lead, right? It's up to Stefan to really start making something happen. And making it happen, he's trying to do only 45%. That's not bad whatsoever, especially given how Stefan, when Stefan has been winning, he's been finding grabs like that, trying to set up these edge guards, and he does so with the, uh, the Tetris block placement, getting that inverted L. <laughs> I think he was looking for the grab there, uh, potentially, which would have been really, really funny. Uh, but either way, uh, Stefan's not going to be able to find it, but does go for a nice 62%. Try to get this uh, stock lit up already. And he's got plenty of iron. He's got diamond tools as well. Jackal's going to be very careful the way he gets up here. Look at the setup. Tried to get it. Tried to get the shield break. Not able to find what he wanted. Oh, it's Ooh. a down smash back hit isn't going to do it one of the few down smashes where the front hit is a little bit stronger i believe so the uh, the tech roll on saved stefan potentially from losing that stock but the anvil falling down I mean, it's such a common it, it's such a frequent steve option in even if you're only in neutral but jackal has just been finding like that right there just drop the anvil sometimes jackal's found plenty of punishes just as much many times as he gotten hit by it mm -hmm. But there we go, man. Another 36 to get things started. Now he's just taking his time. But man, you, right. <laughs> you can take your time all you want. But Jackal's still going to find a way to just open you up for a little bit. Okay, I like the Nair out of shield. Wasn't able to get the follow-up they wanted. Stefan stuffing that out with a forward air stone pickaxe. Okay, Stefan trying to find a couple more ant air, air to airs with that disjoint using the anvil. But then jumping off it early to find that back air. Not trying to give Jackal a free punish, setting the wall behind him to give himself some extra bit of survivability on top of a little bit of extra grabbing. But this could result in the stock if this ledge play goes well, especially with the loss of a pickaxe. Has to get back on stage in order to try and repair that as soon as possible. Need access to the back air, but using it as the crafting table as a bait, but it whiffs. Ooh, okay, you have the jab Lord. away just to get him into the diamond tools, but it does not matter as Jackal finds a way to kick him up to the skies. That's two up tilt stocks that he's gotten uh, between him and Seven today. It's a good move. It's just enough of a move to be that and to have the utility that Wolf needs in those high pressure scenarios and part of what makes uh, Small Battlefield so good since the platform height is just perfect to land the tipper up tilt. As Stefan was just a little bit too focused on finding, uh, getting to that crafting table. But, I mean, can you really blame him? Lack of a pickaxe I mean you don't have, uh, not like you don't have a forward air and back air, but you basically don't. Like, Steve's punches are not, there's not much weight behind those. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that is for sure, man. You definitely only use those to get your first uh, pickaxe or so when you're playing the actual game, man. Uh, you find your first tree, you beat it down, and you just go from there. Either way, though, uh, Jackal trying to find a way to close this out with the A2-0. Right now, off to a good start, too. That 76% is looking pretty nice. Gets the grab. Going for the up throw once again. Ooh, he definitely tried to get that double jump back here. Try and close it out as fast as possible. Yeah, unable to get the wall built up in time in order to prevent the recovery, though. But instead, Stefan is... He's going about it a little bit differently. He's going for a lot more grabs, and as we see that edge cancel out Tyra yet again. But I like how he's been more willing to build some of these blocks in midair, try and just get a little bit more fancy with it, and give uh, give Jackal the matchup check that is so prevalent, because there's a lot of things you have to keep track of in the Steve match. Just like that dash attack, cross up into the reverse grab, in of the wolf flash, not snapping to the ledge, and extending on the crafting table, left the anvil wide open for a huge punish. That's 
Just Steve things. <laughs> yeah, it is just Steve things. That is definitely the way to go about it. But there we go, the back air, closing out that stock, putting Jackal, even in up at least, you know, two stocks apiece. 37% is a bit of the difference, but I mean, that's not huge, all things considered. Just trying to keep his distance and get max range forward tilts, but Stefan is in a pretty good spot here, refreshing his jump uh, plenty of times on these platforms of small battlefield and the ones he makes. Oh, up air should lead to a back air, protecting on the block, wow. I'm surprised the anvil didn't connect there of all times. I felt like that one, that one felt like it should have. I mean, you got that hitbox out there to kind of clink with it. Um, but either way, man, yeah, Jackal's starting to tear this up. Okay, he definitely tried to get a little bit of a, a read going on there for what Stefan was trying to do. He tried to punish it with the back here. Didn't get what they wanted, but they are in a prime position to try and close this one out. I like this switch up from Stefan, recognizing it didn't have to go with the up smash, but it does not matter, man. You put yourself in a really precarious position. Oh, no, this could be bad. All right, never mind. Gets right back to stage. Got to light him up just a little bit more almost resulting in a huge stock with the powered minecart, but instead, Stefan is just kind of stuck here with wood tools, forced to use block placement after block placement as Jackal inches their way forward menacingly, but doesn't break the bottom block in order to burn that much more resources from Stefan. That's so tough. Like, yep. Jackal's playing around the uh, Steve's different resources so unbelievably well and doing just what many steve mains really loathe like play a character with good hitboxes and solid speed and you can give a steve main fits that's why oh. you see cloud and sephiroth do so well and wolf go showing that he's up there right where with him yep i mean he's got almost no resources either just got one block okay he's gonna be able to pick up a few more but man has to use them almost right away and jackals continues to put the pressure down and again he's in a situation you do lose that stock but you got 94 percent lead here right you may as well just sit back, shoot some lasers, because he had those resources. But now it's just a matter of can you close this out here. We know what Steve can do with Diamond, but we know what Jackal can do as soon as you give him that chance to do so. 55%, 69, nice now. Oh, and these as forward after forward air. Stefan cashing in a little bit, but getting a little bit too overzealous with the, uh, with the forward airs that just worked once, twice. But the third time looking for the edge guard and the clip of Wolf Flash not only gets Jackal back to stage, but gets him the win after the Steve Gauntlet. And to be quite honest, after a after a gauntlet of characters that people see in their nightmare, this man, after losing to AK Fires in winter semis, beat Guy Guy's Luigi, Syrup's Ness into AK and Stefan, both on the Steve and able to get all the way through from losers to win fusion number 118. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, that's what it's all about, man. Jackal is a different oh, beast. Yep. And uh, yeah, that accidentally closed out of my OBS Ninja. This is not the production's fault. This is my fault. Um, <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> so, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, man, uh, congratulations to Jackal getting revenge <laughs> from last week. And uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, after... Uh, after shit talking the production, Skiff has gotten his comeuppance. Hey, you know what? I, I never said I was perfect. All right. <laughs> but I'm going to make sure everybody else knows that they aren't either. That's what it comes down to. But either way, no, shout outs to, shout outs to Kelvin. Shout outs to hey. the Fusion Squad, Collision Smash. Uh, definitely a great bracket today. Had a lot of fun. Ubel, always a pleasure to cast with you, my man. For but sure. uh, I don't think we have anything else to really uh, go through. So uh, I think that's it for us. Yeah, sounds like a solid wrap up of the second to last week of the fusion circuit. Make sure you tune in next week right here at twitch.tv slash collision smash for the finale of the fusion circuit qualifiers before heading into the final event with a 1k pop bonus. I've been Ubel joined by Skiff and I bid thee good night.